Hey, this is Ray with NTI. This video is the third video of a five-part demo series of Backup Now EZ5. In this demo, I'll be discussing PC backup and why it's important. You know, a lot of people don't backup their PCs, and if they do, they may only backup their data files. Data backup is a good start, but it's not the best way to protect your PC. Doing a complete system backup, or sometimes called an image backup of your PC, is also important and very useful. So, back to those what ifs in life. Remember, it's not if your hard drive will fail, it's when your hard drive will fail. Hard drives do not last forever, and sometimes they fail without warning. Now think of how long it's going to take you to get your PC back up and running like it was before your hard drive failed. Okay, first you'll need to replace your hard drive. Then you need to reinstall Windows. You might as well get some coffee and sit back and wait a while because that's going to take some time. After that's done, Windows also have to finish running all its little updates. Now it's time to install Office and your other programs, if you can. Think now, where did you put all those software disks and where are all the serial numbers for each program? When that's done, you'll need to copy your data back to your PC, if you had it backed up. You know, all your music, videos, pictures, all your documents, your Outlook uh, PST files, your internet favorites. Now you think you're done. But no, there's a lot of little utilities that you also need to install, like a PDF reader, WinZip, Flash Player, Skype, etc. So let's look at the program. So I've showed you a social media backup. I've showed you a cloud backup. Um, file and folder is, is this similar to um, cloud backup. You know, it's the same source selection, same schedule. It's just instead of backing up to a cloud, it's backing up to your local or, or uh, network drives. So PC backup. So PC backup, you, if you click on the Chevron, you can backup. You can restore from uh, files from your uh, image. Uh, a little more on that shortly. You can do the image restore. And then, of course, you can um, disable, enable the job. So let's close the Chevron. So the source is already selected for you automatically, but um, you can click on it. So it's going to pick your whole um, uh, local drive. So like on my local drive, there's my C drive partition and my E drive partition. And I have an external F drive. So I can also back up external drives separately, but right now I'm just wanting to do a, a backup of my internal drive. So I'll say OK. Each time you modify the job, it's going to ask to run it. So we're just going to say no. All right. So destination. So the destination is same, similar to a file level backup or, or a cloud back, or not cloud backup, but um, social media backup. I'll pick up my uh, favorite Toshiba external drive and my one terabyte. And I can select the capacity alert, so I like 85%. Uh, so that'll warn me when my hard drive is getting full. Um, we can do data compression, so I can uh, encrypt my data so no one can uh, look at my backups. And I can also compress my data so it can get a little bit smaller, so save some space on the hard drive when it's backing up, right? But I'll just leave it like the uh, default, right? And I can also back up to a network drive, but we're just going to back up the local drive. And we'll say OK. And again, it's wanting me to run the job, and I'm going to say no. And schedule, which I've shown you before, it's the same thing. I can uh, You might as well back up in a, a, in a uh, regular schedule. So you can back up um, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. Um, I like monthly, uh, especially for image backup. And you can start anytime you want, so how about 5 p.m.? And I can start it on the first day of the month if I want, right? And I've showed you a backup priority before, so I can make my backups run faster, which might slow down other programs on the PC, because I'm using more CPU time for the backup. Or I can have the PC run faster and give less CPU time to the backup program. But we'll just leave it on default, OK? And say OK. And I'm not going to run the job at this time. All right. I'm not going to run the backup, of course, because it's going to take too long. We've got like 70 gigabytes to uh, backup. So let me show you. Um, uh, the restore functionality. So for the complete system restore, you can, you know, you click on it, it's going to give you uh, instructions how to do it. So we make the USB drive, uh, or I can make a USB flash drive bootable, and we boot into a, a Linux environment. And so when you uh, boot up, you know, you reboot your computer, you press F12 on your computer, it goes into a boot menu. I select my USB drive, like my Toshiba, and then it'll go into our restore uh, window. 
and it'll load our catalog file and it'll say I want to restore back to your disk zero of your PC I mean you could restore to a disk one if you if you have a little desktop that has more than one P uh, hard drive and then it'll give me a restore point so I can restore to uh, whatever uh, restore point I have so let's say I've been backing up every month you know January February March let's say I've got a, a virus sometime in July and I'm unable to get rid of it so what's the best way to get rid of a virus that you can't get rid of restore back to a previous date where you didn't have the virus so I could restore since I back up the first of the month I can restore my July uh, backup and when it starts restoring uh, it, it'll you know it'll restore back before I ever had that virus and then of course if I said July then I would just hit uh, restore and then it would start the restore process and when it's done you just reboot your PC and you're back up and running like you like your PC was working like it was before, right? All right. Um, now, file level restore is different. You know, some of the our competitors don't don't have this. And what it does is, uh, you can go into the file level restore of uh, it'll go into your image backup. And let's say you're backing up file level and you didn't back up some files. Um, you know, something on your desktop or something somewhere else on your computer and you wanted this one file well you can go in there and you can actually um, uh, drill down within your backup and find you know the specific file so I can go down to my computer C drive and let's say I had something on my uh, desktop so I can go to users and then I can go ray and then I can go you know the desktop and let's say I wanted this uh, this log file that I didn't back up, right? So I can click on this log file and I can restore that. Now I can restore it to the original location, I can overwrite, or I can just restore it to the, you know, to uh, other location. By default, it'll go to the desktop. So I'll just hit restore and then it'll go into its restore process. And, you know, it's a small file, so it's going to restore pretty quickly. And then here's my little folder it restored to my desktop. If I open it up, and then I go to users and ray desktop and there's my log file I can open my log file and there's my log right so pretty quick and easy to do um, you say okay um, back to the easy select again just one cover one more so yeah if I want to restore all my pictures to my desktop or restore somewhere else I want to put you know I can move my pictures somewhere else I can restore them all to the desktop or the original location so it's very nice that you can Restore the same way you backed up, right? So by categories, uh, or 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 by specific drilling down with the tree view, right? Okay. One other thing I'd like to cover, you know, PC backup is also great for upgrading your PC to a faster SSD, you know, solid state drive, or a larger hard drive. Just do a complete system backup, replace your old drive with a new one, and restore. Once done, your PC will boot up like uh, normal, or actually faster with an SSD, but it'll also be running on your new drive. It's that easy. No need to pay a lot of money to the, let's say, the Geek Squad to do it for you. You can do it all yourself. Well, that's all for my demo. Check out other parts of the demo series. Also, if you want to check out uh, this program or any other programs, you can go to www.nticorp.com. You can download a trial version and take it for a test drive. I bet you'll like what you see. Thanks for watching.